to our need so we must have engineered all these things so nothing is totally 100% natural uh, about this cloning vectors but cosmids are far far modified than this uh, phage uh, so what they are having they are simply the plasmids so as we say they are called meads at the end so they are simply plasmids so they are much resemble like plasmids they are having an origin of replication which is the first criteria one selectable marker which is second criteria and also multiple cloning site which is the third criteria but except for this they, they are having a unique modification onto these plasmids what is the modification we simply add a cos site onto this plasmid that's why it is termed as cosmids right so cos site is the only requirement for packaging into this fast particle site because if a DNA stretch sequence is having a cos site it can be packaged inside bacteriophage head so by attaching the cos site onto these uh, plasmids we are ensuring that these plasmids can be packaged into the bacterial or packaged into the bacteriophage right and those we can utilize those phage to infect the E. coli or any host bacterial cell onto which we are trying to transfer our gene right so gene transfer become easier because utilizing normal plasmid the gene transfer is pretty difficult because we need to produce and provide the competent cells right to avoid this particular thing we can modify it, this plasmids because plasmids are pretty efficient they are very very efficient and cosmids are efficient in transferring the gene so if we combine these two things we can make a very very good vector now cosmids are really good vectors because their efficiency of transfer is very good and also their efficiency of cloning is very good and they also carry small segments and their copy numbers are also very good. So we are combining the advantageous part of plasmids as well as the advantageous part of phage vectors together in cosmids. Right? Now, but these cosmids are somewhat unstable so these are the uh, bad things about cosmids but most of the part you can clone large inserts about 45 kb and also the features we have seen the presence of cos sites permits it to in vitro packaging into uh, of cosmids into the bacteriophage and we can infect this bacteriophage onto uh, this uh, particular bacterial cells right so we get this cosmic structure so this is another cosmic structure which is having multiple cloning site and all these things but uh, the disadvantage of that is that it is somewhat unstable and difficult to maintain so we cannot store it for a long time because it is unstable due to any kind of uh, phage and uh, plasmid blend uh, this modification sometimes become unstable and difficult to maintain this is the only disadvantage but it is having many very more advantages